Fiji Country Profile Capital, Suva, on Viti Levu Population, 889,953 Total size, 18,270 square kilometers World Regional Continent, Oceania Type of Government, Republic National Holiday, Independence Day, 2nd Monday of October, 1970 Religions, Christian 52%, Methodist 37%, Roman Catholic 9%, Hindu 38%, Muslim 8%, other 2% Currency, Fijian Dollar, FJD The country of Fiji is a set of islands in the South Pacific. The original settlers of Fiji were Polynesian and Melanesian peoples who have lived on the islands for thousands of years. In the first part of the 19th century, Europeans arrived on the islands. The tribal groups on the islands began to war and finally the local chiefs decided to give the islands to Britain in 1874 in an effort to restore peace. Fiji was a British colony for around 100 years when in 1970 it became an independent country. Since becoming independent, Fiji has experienced times of democracy and military dictatorship. In 2006 Commodore Frank Benima, Ima led a military coup and took over the country. He has ruled Fiji without free elections since. Fiji's main sources of foreign exchange are sugar exports and its thriving tourist industry, which along with its abundance of minerals, fish, and forests, gives it one of the most developed economies in the Pacific. Fijians were formidable warriors who built some of the finest boats in the Pacific in their day and time. They called their home Viti but nearby island Tonga called it Faisai. Captain James Cook was the first to pronounce it as Fiji and his writings promulgated that name. Fijians were also fierce cannibals who were known for their practice of eating their enemies and making human sacrifices. The ferocity of their lifestyle deterred European sailors from going anywhere near their coastal waters. Fijians now regard those years as Nargorn and Nitevera, the time of the devil. With the arrival of Christian missionaries, cannibalism began to wane. The last known victim was himself a missionary. Thomas Baker made the mistake of accidentally touching the head of the village chief, an insult tantamount to a declaration of war. The Dutch and British began to explore the islands in the 17th and 18th centuries. In 1874 the British subjugated Fiji as a colony and began the large-scale cultivation of sugar cane there in the 1880s. In order not to interfere with the Fijians' native way of life, contract labor from India was brought into work in the sugar plantations. More than 60,000 indented workers arrived before the practice ended in 1920. Later these Indian transplants would lead to conflicts in the island's government. In 1987, a military dictatorship took over the country to prevent an Indian-dominated party from controlling the government. This triggered a larger exodus of Fijians of Indian origin from the country. Today the population is 40% Indian. Village groups own over 80% of Fiji's land, which is called native land, and use it for their village site and as a nature reserve. Villages are generally self-sustaining. They have a chief as their leader and each has a community center. Tourists may visit them but must bring a gift of kava with them and present it to the chief for the welcoming ceremony, known as the Sevu Sevu. Visitors are welcomed with white talc powder on their faces and lays of flowers and leaves from the villagers. Ladies should leave their jeans at home and wear modest clothing, like a traditional Fijian sarong, a sulu to show respect for the residents and chief. Only the village chief is allowed to wear a hat and sunglasses. You must remove yours, please. You may also be required to remove your shoes in order to enter homes or other buildings. The village women play a game on New Year's Eve called Vake Emily, Kick the Orange. Played by two teams, the winning team must give gifts of new garments to the members of the losing team so there's really more incentive to lose than to win. The Meke is a celebration of culture through traditional storytelling and dancing using songs that is performed at Fijian festivals. It is performed even more frequently during cultural shows at tourist resorts. Rugby is a national obsession. 
the national rugby team used to perform the chibi, pronounced thimbi, before their matches. The chibi is, appropriately enough, a war dance. It has now been replaced with their rembole. War cry. The native Fijians, are mostly Christian and the Indo-Fijians are mostly Hindu. The largest Hindu temple in the entire southern hemisphere is the Sri Shiva Subramania temple. This colorful worship site is in Nadi. The Fijians have a gift-giving culture. For a community ceremony one brings a large quantity of food. This food is also accompanied by gifts like bark cloth or whale's teeth or kava, the national drink. Typically village households contain extended families, including a nuclear family with in-laws and possibly other grown unmarried children. The cultural frowns upon elderly people living alone and uncared for. The starches include yams, taro, sweet potatoes and manioc. The relishes include meat, fish, seafood and leafy veggies. Water is the typical beverage of choice although hot tea with lemon leaves is also served. Food is wrapped in palm fronds and banana leaves and roasted in an earthen pit lined with extremely hot stones. Pork, chicken or fish is placed in first on the bottom. Root crops like cassava, wild yams and taro cover the meat then the pit is filled with dirt and left to cook for three hours. One of Fiji's international sports stars is professional golfer Vijay Singh. He is the winner of three major championships. Fijian superstition says that coconuts have eyes. Furthermore, they watch for certain people on which they want to fall from the tree. So if a coconut falls on you, you can expect bad luck for several days, because it picked you specifically to fall upon. Kava, or yakona, is the national and traditional drink. Made from the powdered root of the yokona bush, it is mixed with water in a bowl called tanoa. Guests must clap before and after drinking from the dish. Kava is believed to have medicinal qualities and is used to treat headaches, colds, insomnia, and anxiety. It has a bitter, tongue-numbing, unsweetened coffee taste. Like, share and subscribe to Sidra's Lifestyle.